Hey, Jim Wolf here. So what should you do when you text a woman and she doesn't text you back? This is one of the top 10 most common questions that men have when it comes to dating. And it's a really good question because it happens all the time. Maybe you have a really good conversation with a woman and then you get her number and you text her and then she doesn't respond. Or maybe you've already hung out with her a couple of times and now all of a sudden she's not responding back to your texts. So what should you do in that situation when you text a woman and she doesn't respond? Well, you could waste your time trying to come up with some kind of magical text that will make her respond and then at a deeper level make her more attracted to you or make her fall in love with you. So you could try to do that, but that's just kind of magical thinking. The absolute best, most powerful thing that you can do is nothing. Now when you first hear that, it might not be the answer that you want to hear, but I promise you it's definitely the best thing that you can do when a woman doesn't respond to your text. Don't do anything. Why should you do nothing? Well, when you do nothing in that situation, you win no matter what. Let's take two scenarios to show you exactly what I mean. In scenario A, let's say that she is interested in you and you send her a text and she doesn't respond right away and in response to that, you do nothing. If you do that, you win because if she's interested in you, she will eventually text you back and re-engage you. And when she does, the fact that you haven't double texted her or tried too hard to gain her attention will make her more interested in you. So if she's already interested in you and you don't send her that next text that you really want to send her because you're not sure what's happening and you don't know why she's not responding to you, when you don't do that, it makes her more interested in you if she already likes you a little bit. Okay, and then in scenario B, let's say she's just not that interested in you or she's not interested in you anymore. In that case, you still win. Why? Well, sending her another text is not going to make her like you anyway. So there's no possible text that you can send her that will make her more interested in you or make her like you more or make her more attracted to you. So that is an impossible thing to do. And so not sending her that text makes you a winner because you're not wasting any more of your time and energy on someone who's not interested in you. And instead you can put that energy towards yourself and your life and meeting other women who are interested in you. Okay, so if you don't send her another text when she doesn't respond, you win no matter what. Whether she's interested in you or not, you win. And I like strategies that allow you to win in more than one way, and this is definitely one. And by the way, in this situation, nothing is really hard to do. That's why it's so powerful. That's why if she is interested in you, it makes her more interested in you. Because women know subconsciously how hard it is for you not to send that next text. Okay, so when you don't do anything, when you don't react to the situation, it shows a lot of really good things about you. It's very difficult not to send her that text when you want to so much. Okay, so it helps you build your real internal strength and makes you much more attractive. Now, on the other hand, if you send her that text that you really want to send her, you always lose. So if you do nothing, you always win, and if you send her that text, you always lose. And here's why. In scenario A, let's say that she is interested in you, and maybe she was just busy or something like that. Well, if you send her that text, that actually decreases her interest in you a little bit. Okay, so if she already likes you a little bit, and she doesn't respond right away, and then you send her that next text, that's going to decrease her interest in you because it shows that you're not controlling yourself, that you need her too much, etc. And so if you send her that text and she is interested in you, she will lose a little bit of her interest for you. And so that's a lose. And we want to win. We want her to be more interested in you. Okay, so let's say she does like you. She doesn't respond right away because maybe she didn't see your text or maybe she's busy or something like that. And then in that case, she will re-engage you by texting you. And when she subconsciously realizes that you didn't try to text her again, that makes her like you more. So when you send her that text, if she is interested in you, it makes her like you less. So don't do it. And then in scenario B, if she's not interested in you anyway, you lose when you send her that text because you're training yourself to be more needy. Because you're texting someone who's not interested in you, your subconscious mind starts to devalue your own self when you do that. 
And again, on the other hand, if she isn't interested in you and you don't send her a text, you start building all of these awesome qualities inside yourself that you can carry forward with you when you're interacting with the next woman in your life. And so you're going to be much more attractive for the next woman you meet if you don't text a woman who's not interested in you. So if you can have the courage and the self-control to stop yourself from sending that text, then even if she's not interested in you, it's going to make you more attractive to every other woman you meet in the future. So when she's not interested in you and you don't send her that next text, you're building up your attractiveness over time. So to really drive this point home, let's say that there are two versions of you. And in this situation, version A of you doesn't react to her not responding to your text and does not text her again. And version B of you sends her that text that you really want to send her. Well, version A of you will be much more confident over time. You'll have higher self-worth. You'll be more naturally attractive and you will definitely be more successful with women over time. Now, the first time that you do this, the first time that you control yourself and decide not to send that text to a woman, it's going to be very difficult if you've never tried it before because you really want to send her that text. And I totally understand that. However, it gets easier and easier over time. So you just have to start doing it in one situation and then the next time it won't feel so difficult. And then eventually that behavior will just disappear completely and you'll notice that your success with women has gone up exponentially. And when a woman doesn't respond to your text and you don't text her back, you're the exact same man, yet the way women see you and the way you see yourself is different. And this might seem like a really small thing, but when it comes to women, most guys are looking for some kind of magic pill that will make every woman attracted to them all the time. And I can tell you that if you want to be successful in dating, there is no magic pill. What you can do is eliminate a lot of these little mistakes over time. And these little things over time add up to how much a woman likes you or not. So if a woman is interested in you a little bit to start out with, all of these little things like this add up to how much more or less she's going to like you over time. Okay, so it's not about finding a magic pill. It's about eliminating all of these little mistakes that are preventing your naturally attractive personality from showing up. Okay, so that is our goal. Our goal is to eliminate enough little mistakes like this that your naturally attractive personality comes out. And also keep in mind the female reality. If you're texting a woman who's relatively good looking, she's going to be getting a lot of incoming attention from men. So step back for a second and take a look at the situation from her perspective. It's very helpful to do this. For example, when you send her a text, she might be getting that same kind of text from five other guys today, 10 other guys today, a hundred other guys today, and you don't know how many other men are paying her the same kind of attention as you. And women who are good looking get much more incoming interest from men than an equivalently attractive man. So try to take a step back and look at her reality for a second. One time I met up with a woman and because I study this kind of thing and I'm very curious about it, she showed me her phone. And on her phone she had over 1400 unread messages from other men on her iPhone messages and social media accounts. Okay, so keep that in mind. When you're sitting there in your apartment and you really like this girl and you're texting her and she's not texting you back, just remember she might be getting a thousand other messages from other men. Okay, so try not to take it so personally. I know that's very difficult because when it comes to dating, it seems very personal and we're being very vulnerable when we're taking the risk and asking her for a number and asking her to hang out and all that stuff. So it feels very personal, but just remember, she might be getting a thousand messages from other men, literally. Okay, so it's very important to take a step back, don't take it so personally, and realize that if you're dealing with good looking women, they're going to have a lot of options and it's a little bit of a numbers game. So it's probably not even about you at all. Just imagine for a second what it would be like if you had over a thousand unread messages from women on your phone. And then realize that that's kind of the reality of a very attractive female. Okay, so just keep that in mind. What would you do if you got a thousand messages from different women all the time? 
Okay, so just think about that for a second. What would you do if you had over a thousand unread messages from women on your phone and you're a good person and you don't want to reject anyone and you're nice? Think about how you would feel if you were her. Okay, so just keep that in mind. As hard as it is, try not to take it personally. And just remember, if you focus on one particular woman, you're going to have a very low probability of success, no matter how awesome you are. And that's going to erode your self-worth over time. And guess what? You are an awesome guy. It's just that if she's really good looking, she's getting a lot of attention from a lot of men. And maybe you're just not her style. And another woman will find you appealing. Okay, so broaden your approach a little bit. Don't focus so much on one particular woman, and then you're going to start getting what you want. And on a related note, if you're on one of those dating apps like Tinder, for example, and you're swiping right on lots of women, and you're not getting a lot of matches, keep in mind the female reality when it comes to those apps as well. Studies have shown that women are three times less likely to swipe right on someone than men. So take all the women that you swipe right on and divide that by three, and those are kind of the odds that you have as a man for her to swipe right on you. So again, it's very important. I know it's very difficult, but it's very important to take dating less seriously and broaden your focus a little bit. And when you do that, you start to see more success, and then you see yourself as more attractive, and then that success keeps snowballing until you get exactly what you want. Now there's one exception to the rule that you should do nothing when a woman doesn't respond to your text. And this exception for you is if you're just starting to learn about dating because it's very difficult to not send her that text that you really want to send her, especially if you really like her. It's a very difficult thing to do. I completely understand that and we've all kind of struggled with this at one point or another. Okay, so don't get me wrong, this can be a very difficult thing to do. So to help you with that, one exception to this rule is that you can send her that text seven days from now. So take the message that you want to send her right now, write it in your phone as if you're going to send it to her, and instead of pressing the send button, instead copy it and paste it into your notepad, and then wait one week, and you can send it to her one week from now. So you are allowed to send her that text, one week from today. And there are two reasons for this exception. Number one, if your mind knows that you're allowed to send her that text a week from now, it's a little bit easier not to send her that text right now. Okay, so this makes it a little bit easier to train yourself to be less needy. And the second reason is, in the 0.01% chance that she is interested in you and didn't get your text and didn't text you back for some crazy reason, and you send her that text a week from now, she'll still be more attracted to you than if you sent it right away. And then if she is interested in you and something did happen, at that point she'll text you back, and in her subconscious mind she will be aware of the fact that you didn't text her back right away when she didn't respond, and she will like you more. So if you're not able to just not send her a text and completely move on, wait exactly one week and then send her that text. And again, at first, this can be very difficult, but I guarantee you it gets easier and easier over time, and you're going to be more and more successful with women the more you learn to correct these little mistakes. So be strong, and when a woman doesn't text you back, do nothing. It's very difficult, but you're the man, and I know you can do it. And by the way, have you grabbed your copy of my groundbreaking dating and relationship book for men yet? 13 years of research went into making this book for you and it will change your life. So head over to attractandkeeper.com and claim your copy now. I'm Jim Wolf, and I'll talk to you later. Cheers.